Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. I appreciate your time. Thank you for watching. I wanted to tell you that a major lawsuit has just dropped, and that's in the case revolving around the Uvalde tragedy. Now, I will say that some of the things I've seen in this filing, this report, uh, this this uh, court case, some of them are good because it goes after law enforcement and it details their inaction for 77 minutes and what happened in classrooms during that 77 minutes. But it also, there's a part of it that I don't agree with. And I want to bring it to your attention so you can tell me how you feel. And this part is where they're trying to sue Daniel Defense out of existence. But first, if you believe the Second Amendment and the truth around the Second Amendment is more important than like makeup tutorials or cat videos or anything else that YouTube has thrown in front of you, trying to force you to watch and maybe force your kids to watch, then hit that subscribe button down below. The Second Amendment is more important than all that. And if you agree with me, subscribe to the channel and let's blow this channel up. Let's get it to be the force to be reckoned with. Let's talk about this lawsuit here on the screen. Is the first, I'm gonna put the first page and a half because I want you to see all of the plaintiffs and all of the defendants. This was just filed today. And it's the Torres family versus De Daniel Defense, Daniel Defense Inc., Oasis Outback, City of Uvalde, Uvalde Consolidated Independent School District, Uvalde County, the Consolidated Independent School District Police Department, uh, Pete Arredondo, and a bunch of other officers that were present on scene to include Texas Rangers and uh, Department of Public Safety troopers. Now, like I said, a lot of this lawsuit I agree with. And I believe those officers who were on scene that did nothing, especially those who gave orders to stand down, they need to pay dearly. Absolutely. Wholeheartedly believe that. Believe that. I believe that. Man, <laughs> talking is hard today. I'm on my third coffee. It's been one of those days. But this is the part I don't agree with. I'm going to talk, I'll show you the part where they're trying to um, establish a suit against Daniel Defense in which they were um, marketing to... Uh, allegedly marketing towards children uh, and because they're used in video games then they should know that children are going to want to buy their product and do evil things and they also allege unfair trade practices with their advertising here on the screen is a little bit on the daniel defense part and i want you to tell me what you think about this stuff it says daniel defense's role in the uvalde shooting this mass shooting was enabled by illegal reckless and negligent action of defendant daniel defense llc which profited from the unfair marketing of its AR-15 rifles, including the DDM-4 V7 rifle that the shooter purchased, in a manner that especially appealed to young men like the shooter with antisocial tendencies and violent impulses, and whose acquisition of weapons designed for use in war transforms those tendencies into horrific acts of violence. Now look, at I'm a parent. There's no company out in the world that I would hold responsible for my piss-poor parenting. My kid should know I should teach him that you don't just go do bad things to bad people because you can't deal with your scenario or whatever you're going through. It's not the fact that Daniel Defense sells products and has advertising in different locations, okay? So, hey, if you don't agree with me, let me know down below. Daniel Defense markets its products to adolescent and young men using a range of channels, including social media content, product placements, and print advertising. For example, Daniel Defense promotes its products heavily on Instagram, a platform with a young user base. Uh, Daniel Defense also places its products in video games and then heavily promotes the video game tie-ins in the company's social media accounts. Daniel Defense's marketing includes militaristic and combat imagery, as well as content specifically aimed at young consumers, referencing video games and the irreverent tone of uh, internet meme culture. This has enabled Daniel Defense to appeal to young male civilian consumers, which can in turn translate to market growth by priming young buyers to purchase AR-15 style rifles as soon as they are legally able. Yeah, that's also called the Constitution and the Bill of Rights. Yeah, it goes into great detail. There's more to it. Uh, I'll link the, the lawsuit if you want down below. But they're trying to paint this picture like Daniel Defense did something wrong here. They didn't do anything wrong. They made a product, they marketed it, and that's all protected by the PLCA, the Protection of Lawful Commerce and Arms Act. Now, what they're trying to do is they're trying to get a Bushmaster scenario here where Connecticut allowed the Bushmaster say, uh, lawsuit to go through because of the way they marketed, and we know what happened with Bushmaster and the settlement that ensued. And that's exactly what they're trying to do here with Daniel Defense. So this lawsuit just dropped today. 
I want your thoughts, I want your opinions on its claims here about Daniel Defense. I think Daniel Defense did nothing wrong other than make a product and this kid happened to buy two of them. Now what are they looking for? What are they going after? The first cause of action is all about Daniel Defense and how they're going after Daniel Defense because of their, their marketing of the tool that they make and the alleged foreseeable risks of injury. Again, we're not talking about uh, the person who should have been responsible uh, for the actions he committed. We're just talking about an inanimate object. The second cause of action is against Oasis Outback, which was the uh, FFL. The third cause of action is also against Oasis Outback. The fourth cause of action is uh, related to the violation of the fourth, fourth and 14th Amendments of Unlawful Seizure. And this alleges uh, that, you look at line 259, by using force to involuntarily confine uh, this person and other students and teachers inside classrooms 111 and 112 with the shooter, the law enforcement individual defendants illegally seized uh, this person in violation of the clearly established rights secured to her by the 4th and 14th Amendments. The fifth cause of action is a 5th and 14th Amendment violation. Again, look at two, line 264. The 5th Amendment to the Constitution of the United States creates the right to not be deprived of life without due process of law. This protection has been incorporated as against the state and, and local actors via the 14th Amendment. The sixth cause of action is the 4th and 14th Amendment violations going after the municipality. The seventh cause of action is the 5th and 14th Amendment violations by the municipality. And finally, the wrongful death and survival claims. The prayer for relief, this is what they're looking for. They want compensatory damages against all defendants in an amount to be determined at trial. They want punitive damages against the gun industry defendants, that's uh, the L uh, FFL and in Daniel Defense, as well as the law enforcement individual defendants in an amount to be determined at trial. They want reasonable attorney fees and costs. They want pre and post judgment interest and such other and further relief as this court may deem just and proper. And it says, please take note that the plaintiffs demand a trial by jury. So that's a, this is a big lawsuit. This is called the big pocket theory. There's, uh, I forget the number, but there was like a hundred cops that uh, they were looking at in, in this lawsuit. Again, I'll have a link down below. This is a big pocket theory. Sue the, those with the big pockets and they think eventually it'll get uh, whittled down to a couple. And I think they really want Daniel Defense by reading this. They want them bad. They want that, they want that uh, Bushmaster money. Let me know what you guys and gals think about this. Share this. Also, there's a lot going on today in the courts. I'm not going to spill the beans yet because it might not come out today, but stay tuned to this channel. I might have something coming soon relative to a big announcement in a court. Uh, if you want to stay in the know, subscribe to the channel. Also, make sure you hit that bell icon and turn it on to all notifications because if I go live, you're supposed to be notified. And this could be could be very good news. We'll see what happens. I'm, I'm crossing everything I have. We'll see. Guys and gals, until we see each other again, be safe, stay vigilant, and carry a gun to keep you, your friends, your family, your community safe. Let me know what you think about this lawsuit down below. Again, I am for a lot of it. I'm not really for Daniel Defense being sued uh, because they made a product, they marketed it lawfully, they did nothing wrong. But uh, let me see what you say down below, guys. See you in the next one. Take care.